is at hand. By activating my defrost array, I, Frau Thor, will defrost and destroy all the state's frozen foods. And then I'll never have to eat peas or lima beans again. Not so fast, Frau Thor. Timo Supremo. You got that right, Thor lady. And it's time for you to chill. <laughs> Great work, Timo. That Frau Thaw was starting to get me steamed. Uh, you're a little late with the entrance, Chief? Uh, sorry, sir, but the State Park's legendary Big Boulder has just been burglarized. That's the seventh stolen stone in the past seven days. I think I see a pattern emerging. Yeah, me too. Nice work, Chief. How can we help, Governor Kevin? Well, your super enthusiasm is super appreciated, Timo, but I think the Chief can wrangle the rock rustlers. That's right. I'll solve this geologic crime in geologic time. Uh, isn't that really slow? He's just kidding. I hope. <laughs> well, your super enthusiasm is super appreciated, Timo, but I think the Chief can wrangle the rock rustlers. That's right. I'll solve this geologic crime in geologic time. Whoa! Deja vu, dudes! That was strange. Yeah. Well, no sweat. Say, you kids are late for class. Here's an official excuse on my official gubernatorial letterhead. Thanks, Governor Kevin. But let us know if you need any help. We'll be fine. Sorry we're late, Mrs. Willingams. Yes, well, returning to today's lesson, our state's charter established the democracy we now cherish. Sorry we're late, Mrs. Willingams. Odd, I just had the strangest sense of deja vu. Remember, Governor Kevin needs us to keep sharp. Now, ready, set, go! <laughs> Finished with time to spare. Remember, Governor Kevin needs us to keep sharp. Now, ready, set, go! <laughs> with time to spare. Gee, yow! Feels like we've been running that course all day. Yeah, I'm be straddled. Indeed. It does seem like there have been a lot of repeat performances lately. You mean like Governor Kevin? And Mrs. Willingans? <laughs> yeah, I'm be straddled. Indeed. It does seem like there have been a lot of repeat performances lately. You mean like Governor Kevin? And Mrs. Willingans? Huh? Something's not right here. We better go tell Governor Kevin. Tito Supremo! Huh? Something's not right here. We better go tell Governor Kevin. Timo Supremo! This is getting annoying. Come on. Yep, I hear you. Your gov's on it. Hey, Timo, we're getting calls from all over the state. Everyone seems to be saying and doing the same things over and over again. It's like network television. Just as I suspected. The deja vus are happening everywhere. Actually, Captain Crandall, it appears to be more than just deja vu. I believe we're experiencing anomalies across the very fabric of time and space. Hey, Timo, we're getting calls from all over the state. Whoa, head rush. It's getting worse. No wonder I haven't had any time to look into those disappearing rocks. Or... Maybe I already have. Wait! These deja vu started about the same time the rocks started disappearing. Is it possible the two are connected? That depends on what kind of rocks are missing. This substance is one of the raw materials we use to make your super tools. Parts of it keep disappearing! Where do those molecules go, Mr. Paulson? Not where, Crandall. When. The phase variance of this material occurs across four dimensions, not just three. How's that? I think he means that the material travels through time. And it seems that the missing rocks all contain traces of this material. That means whoever is stealing the rocks could be causing the deja vus. Bummer, Ruski. We better find whoever's stealing these rocks and make him stop. How are we going to do that? Fortunately, I've recently built a highly advanced device designed specifically to detect these types of molecularly unstable materials. Behold, the level 7 Molecumeter. Timo, it's time we do a little rock hunting. Strange stone straight ahead! Hiding stolen rocks in a rock quarry. Ingenious. Who is that guy? 
Heed my words, O oh minions. That stone must face northwest. The formation must be exact if my plan is to succeed. Swiping rocks and stacking them? What kind of plan is that? I have no idea, Skate Lad, but no doubt it's a sinister plan. Those rocks belong to the people of this state. Return them at once, whoever you are! Whoever I am? I am the noble yet enigmatic Lord Druid. Soon everyone will know that name. Nice to meet you. You're going down. So you think, but soon you low-born superheroes will look up to me. Minions, I command you to stop them from stopping me. You have nowhere to hide, Lord Druid. You may be right. You have nowhere to hide, Lord Druid. You may be right. Surprise! Nowhere indeed. Whoa! Careful, Timo. The deja vu's are back. That's just like a deja vu to keep coming back. Minions, get into position. Time's up, Lord Druid. Bah! Huh? Whoa! Where did they go? I don't know, Skate Lad, but I think the real question is, when did they go? Good question. It would seem that Lord Druid is attempting to recreate Stonehenge. Stonehenge? You mean that big circle of rocks in England? Yes. Many people believe Stonehenge was used to keep track of time. But by using molecularly unstable material, it seems that Lord Druid plans to use his replica of Stonehenge to travel through time. I see. So why does this Druid dude want to time travel? According to our files, this Lord Druid creep claims to be descended from a royal family that once ruled over the state. Oh, maybe he wants a time machine to visit his old relatives. Or maybe he wants to change history so his royal family replaces our democracy. Now that would be jive. You can say that again. Now that would be jive. Another deja vu. Lord Druid must be testing his device again. Let's go, Timo. We don't have a second to lose. Ah, oh, yes. My Stonehenge is now complete and fully functional. Zazzo! We're too late. Not if he's still here talking. Come on, Timo! Stop, Lord Druid! Stop, Lord Druid! <sighs> Address me as Emperor Druid, for when I return, I will be Emperor of this state! And now, behold the awesome power of my Stonehenge! We can't let him get away this time. Quick, Timo, grab on! I have done it! The power of Stonehenge is at my beck and call! <gasps> Whoa! Now, my minions, by changing just one small event at the time our state was founded, my ancestors' monarchy will continue to flourish, and then all will bow down to me, Emperor Druid. Far too far. <laughs> Much better. Ah, uh, excuse me, lad. Yes, you there. Gar, methinks I've not laid eyes on ye enormous megalithic formation here before. Come, take a look around. Perhaps later. I must make haste and deliver the state charter, which proclaims our fair state a democracy. The state charter? Might I take a look at it? If Lord Druid gets his hands on that, our state's democracy is history. I know, but I have a plan. Surely you have a few moments to spare. Sorry, Lord Druid, but this time, your time's up for good. But that! Oh, what's going on? Now, Rogue Girl! Whoop! Stonehenge? Not anymore. I noticed that before each time shift, you placed those pebbles into certain configurations. That's how you controlled Stonehenge. And you're mixing my precious stones with marbles? Not just any marbles. Level 7 marbles. Quick, Timo, take cover. My beautiful Stonehenge. No! No! If I could turn back time... All right. 
right, Rock Boy. You're off to serve some serious time. In jail! Wow, who'd have thought missing rocks could lead to such heavy consequences? It just goes to show that even the smallest crime can lead to disaster. But Timo Suprema will always be there to fight it. Even if we had to do it again, and again, and again, I did the last again on purpose. <laughs> Phew!